Tramadol, marketed as Ultram, and as generics, is an opioid pain medication used to treat moderate to moderately severe pain. When taken as an immediate release oral formulation, the onset of pain relief usually occurs within about an hour. It has two different mechanisms. First, it binds to the microopioid receptor. Second, it inhibits the uptake of serotonin and norepinephrine. Serious side effects may include seizures, increased risk of serotonin syndrome, decreased alertness, and drug addiction. The risk of serotonin syndrome appears to be low. Common side effects include constipation, itchiness and nausea, among others. A change in dosage may be recommended in those with kidney or liver problems. Its use is not recommended in women who are breastfeeding or those who are at risk of suicide. Tramadol is marketed as a racemic mixture of both R and S stereoisomers. This is because the two isomers complement each other's analgesic activity. It is often combined with paracetamol acetaminophen as this is known to improve the efficacy of tramadol in relieving pain. Tramadol is metabolized to O-desmethyltramadol, which is a more potent opioid. It is of the benzenoid class. Tramadol was launched and marketed as Tramol by the German pharmaceutical company Grunenthal GmbH in 1977 in West Germany, and 20 years later it was launched in countries such as the UK, US, and Australia. Tramadol's use in pregnancy is generally avoided as it may cause some reversible withdrawal effects in the newborn. A small prospective study in France found that, while there was an increased risk of miscarriages, there were no major malformations reported in the newborn. Its use during lactation is also generally advised against, but a small trial found that infants breastfed by mothers taking tramadol were exposed to about 2.88% of the dose the mothers were taking. There was no evidence of this dose having a harmful effect on the newborn. Its use in children is generally advised against, although it may be done under the supervision of a specialist. On September 21, 2015 the FDA started investigating the safety of tramadol in use in persons under the age of 17. The investigation was initiated because some of these people have experienced slowed or difficult breathing. There is an increased risk of opioid-related adverse effects such as respiratory depression, falls, cognitive impairment and sedation. It is advised that the drug be used with caution in those with liver or kidney failure, due to the high dependence of the drug on the liver and kidneys for metabolism to O-desmethyltramadol and elimination, respectively. The most common adverse effects of tramadol include nausea, dizziness, dry mouth, indigestion, abdominal pain, vertigo, vomiting, constipation, drowsiness and headache. Compared to other opioids, Respiratory depression and constipation are considered less of a problem with tramadol, 